Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Royal Doc Allen Podcast. I'm excited to welcome to the program, Royal Doc Allen Lindemann. Doc, what's going on, man? How are you? We're doing very well, Neil, and you? Great. And today's topic is quickening. What is quickening in pregnancy? Well, quickening is the first movement. Um, it's, it goes, it, that's an old term. I think it's actually somewhat biblical, you know, to separate the quick from the dead, the living from the dead. So it's a sign of life. What is baby? What is a baby doing during quickening? The baby is actually kicking or hitting or moving in some way during quickening. It's hard to feel because the baby is swimming in a lot of uh, fluid. In other words, when the baby is small, there's more fluid uh, to baby than there is when the baby gets bigger. What is the difference between quickening and movement? Well, quickening is actually the first movement. Anything after quickening is just considered movement. Uh, there are a couple different things that make a difference for quickening. One of them is how many babies you've had. For example, if you, you've had um, two or three babies before, you're more likely to know what quickening is. The other thing that makes that's important for thinking about quickening is how old is the baby. So if you had a baby before, and your baby gets to be, say, 12 weeks or 11 weeks, you're probably going to have quickening. What's the difference between quickening and movement? Well, quickening is the first movement, and any movement after that is just considered movement. Okay, and the best place to go is worlddocallen.com and safepregnancy.com. Thanks, Doc. Thanks, Neil. All right, that was the World Doc Allen Podcast, guys. Take care.